So you guys got to kick some serious butt in yeah. the movie. Tell me about the action. There's, it was great. It was so fun. There was a lot of action in the movie, wasn't there? A lot of butt kicking. My butt got kicked a lot, mainly by you. Yeah. On and off the set. Hmm. Um, but it was pretty <laughs> awesome, wasn't it? You know? Yeah. I mean, that's what made the film, I think, you know, the, the, the love, the humour, the action, it had everything. And um, we had a great stunt choreography, a team that developed our fighting styles and the, the styles uh, of the other huntsmen. So there was a continuity and a ruthlessness to it. And, mm -hmm. and it was uh, brutal and epic. <laughs> mm. See, now you've opened up Pandora's box. What kind of butt kicking did Jessica put you through? Oh, well, he's lying. Well, come on. You're in the movie, lying. you knocked me out. Okay, um, in the movie. You flipped me onto the ground. Um, yeah, I knee you. Knee you in the... <laughs> in the privates. <laughs> yep. That's in the script. It's in the script. Well, I was, was just being a good actor. Jury's out on that. We still don't know, do we? Uh, yeah, because... So you in court. <laughs> So in her script, not yours. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're saying. <laughs> I, I, it's in script in pencil. <laughs> I've written it in. Well, speaking of the script, what made you want to say, yes, I'm going to be in The Huntsman and I'm going to fight this guy, you know, and kind of kiss him every once in a while, too? You know, I was really happy that the character wasn't a damsel in distress. I don't like fairy tales sometimes because I feel like that's the message we're putting out into the world that a princess needs to sit if she, her life is miserable you just sit and you wait and you dream your prince will come and he'll show up and he'll save you and he'll climb up your hair into a tower and I mean there's so many things that are just ridiculous and I never related to it as a child and when I read the script I loved that it was a modern take on a, on a fairy tale it was an equal relationship they're both kick ass at what they do but they're even better when they're together yeah, that was a really nice surprise for me as a person who was watching it. I was like, yeah, there's such great female roles. Yeah. So when you guys were reading the script, especially you this round, mm. what surprised you guys most about the script that made you say, yeah, I'm going to make this movie, or even in the making of the film that really surprised you? <clears throat> um, I love that there were these really strong yeah. female characters in the film. And, uh, you know, having a daughter myself, I, I think, oh, great. This is, I wanted to see a film where characters or women are portrayed as warriors or they can lead armies or, or they can take over kingdoms. And there's a um, there's a tremendous amount of strength, but they don't lose their f uh, feminine side in that, you know. Exactly. They um, don't have to be a man to be a, like masculine yeah. to be a warrior. You can still be a woman and be a warrior. Right? So tell me about some of the fun because there were some cute kid warriors. It makes you think, oh my gosh, a kid with a weapon is so adorable. A kid with well, you well, should have seen that. his kid. My kid was on set a lot uh, with the weapons, as was Charlize. Yeah. Little India chasing around Emily's the DP kid. with the. Yeah, with the yeah. axes and things. The, the stunt axes, so they weren't very sharp. They Still weren't a sharp bit, at all. A little bit dangerous. Uh, but she's a warrior too. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was cool. And tell me about working with this cast, because you have Emily Blunt, you have Charlize Theron again, I mean, and then you guys, but I mean, it must have been so much fun. I, I laughed more on this set, because also Nick Frost and Rob Brydon, and Sheridan Smith and Alex Roach, like, I laughed so much on this set than I, I think more than I've ever Yeah. Laughed. Yeah, same, same. It was a lot of fun. I think we all had a sort of a wicked sort of sense of humor yeah. and, and a lot of teasing. You know, yeah. And, but it was the kind of film that lends itself to that environment. You know, if we weren't having fun, we're sort of like, this is yeah. ridiculous. You know, and <laughs> and so we're uh, fighting a goblin. Yeah, but you can't <laughs> you can't take it too serious. So tell me a little bit about uh, the Huntsman, the storyline, because I was surprised that Snow White can actually develop into a cool storyline about a Huntsman mm. and the love story mm. that kind of created him as who he is that we see in the first movie. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah. Um, that, I mean, when we shot the first film and there was a scene in the, in the tomb where the Huntsman's talking to Snow White about his wife that he lost and, and that was, you know, um, that, that tragedy that occurred. We talked about, oh, wouldn't it be interesting to explore that in another film and see who that woman was and, and what that world looked like. And um, so I love the fact that the script went right there and, 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 and then also picked up after Snow White to then see, you know, the return no of this character. Well, it's in the trailer, so. It's you know, not. I think people no, know. It's not in the trailer. Well, she's not gonna. They were surprised yesterday She's here, at the she's premiere. not gonna not be in the movie, is she? Well, she was <laughs> surprising people So I was yesterday. like, every day I had to deal with this. <laughs> he loved it. <laughs> and who wouldn't? Thank you so much, guys. <laughs>